Hello, in this video we are going to mention retinal face face detection module and its facial recognition extension ArcFace. But before beginning, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. Retina Face library is fully open sourced and its source code can be accessed in this URL. It's also available on PIP or shortly PIP. All you need is to run pip install retina dash face command to install the library itself and its prerequisites. Once you install the retina face library, then you can import the library as from retina face and import retina face. Here the first letters of the retina and face should be uppercase. Then we are going to call retina face dot detect dash faces and here pass an image path. Let's define the image path here. For example, it's going to be image.jpg in the same directory. By the way, that's the image we are going to work with. This is the input image and detect faces is going to return object. Let's see the response object first. It's a dictionary and let's get its just case. Those are the K names and I wonder the number of case in the response object. I can check it with length command. There are 174 faces in the input image. Here I'm going to build a for loop for k in object.case and here get k index value of the object and this is going to be the identity. Well, let's see the first identity to understand its content. That's why I'm going to write here break command. This is the first identity and it returns confidence score, facial area coordinates and some landmarks including eye, nose and mouth. I'm going to get the coordinates of the facial area and highlight it in the image itself. Facial area is going to be identities get facial area k. To highlight the facial area, I'm going to import OpenCV and here I'm going to call OpenCV.Rectangle and here pass the image itself and pass some coordinates. Let's set the coordinates as a point 0.1. I'm going to set two index value and three index value of the facial area and here is a, a point two I'm going to set zero index value and one index value. Here after the coordinates I'm going to set the color and thickness. Color is going to be white that's why I'm going to set it to three times two five five and the thickness is going to be one. For this demonstration, I need to define the image here. Image is going to be opencv.imrit and here I'm going to pass the image path as input. Now I'm going to run this block for all images. That's why I'm going to remove the break line and also remove the print line. Let's show the image. But I need to import the matplotlib library. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. And here I'm going to call plt dot show and pass image as input and then plt dot show commands. The color of this image is in blue because OpenCV reads an image in the inverse direction of the red, green, blue. That's why I'm going to uh, change the show line just like that. It has real colors. Now let's increase the size of this output image. I'm going to call plt.figure before the show line and as input I'm going to set figure size argument. It's going to be 
for example, 20 times 20. That's the output image and as seen detected face are highlighted. The result is amazing. It can detect the faces of the fans in the tribune in the background as well. As I mentioned, retina face is the face detection module of the inside face project and it's facial recognition module is arc face and you can use arc face and retina face pair within deep face you need to run pip install deep face command to install the deep face library and its prerequisites as well here i'm going to define a markdown and this block will handle facial recognition after installing the deep face, you can import the library as from deep face and import deep face. Here, the first letter of the deep and face should be uppercase. Here, I'm going to call deep face dot verify, and as input, I'm going to set image one pet as image one dot jpeg and image two pet is going to be image2.jpg then I'm going to set model name argument as arc face and detector backend as retina face let's test it model name is going to be arc face and detector backend is going to be retina face uh, that's going to be my object. Let's see the response object here. It's verified because its distance is less than the defined maximum threshold value to verify. By the way, image 1 JPEG and image 2 JPEG pair is those images. And they are really ungenerally and it seems the result is true. Now I'm going to test it for image 1 JPEG and image 3 JPEG pair. Those are different persons. The result should be false in the verified case. The result is really false. So the arc face and retina face pair seems to be working. So they have mentioned retina face face detector and arc face facial recognition module in this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also support this study if you are going to start its GitHub repo. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.